sushi is now one of the luxury cuisines, and thanks to the transportation system and skillful sushi chef worldwide, we can enjoy the variety of items from the tasty local ingredients to the rare seafood from the other side of the world in a relatively reasonable prices. But good ingredients aren't always the good dishes. They all rely on how they are prepared. Chefs, therefore, also utilize their technique and knowledge to ensure the freshness and improve the presentation quality to make it worth paying for. But how do you judge it is cost effective? And how do you determine the appropriate price? This cannot be a black box, at least to the restaurant side, since you need to know how much the cost is and the profit will be to make your business sustainable. This may sound confusing and give a headache to some people, but it's important to know, of course, as a management, but also in a sushi chef level. For a sushi chef, it can be a useful data to know more specifically, like how many pieces you have to cut into from one block of tuna, or how many servings you can prepare from a pot of miso soup, while ensuring the balance between the profit for the business and a portion size to the customer. According to the survey, the average food cost percentage in the entire food service industry, including food service and quick service, is said to be 28 to 32 percent, while the number in sushi business can reach over 40 percent, since fresh seafood is relatively expensive. And food cost itself is also increasing year by year, along with the growing population and the decreasing amount of catch. So you want to keep a closer eye on it to make timely action possible. Ideal percentage, by the way really varies depending on the market price of the region and your business style. But anyway, this lecture shares the basic food cost percentage formula and help you understand why it all matters. First thing first, let me define what the food cost percentage is. Food cost is the expense you spend to purchase the ingredient from the suppliers. If you buy whole salmon and pay $50, the salmon costs $50. Then, the food cost percentage is the ratio of the ingredient cost against the sales. If you buy the salmon for $50 and sell it to the customer for $100, the ratio of the cost is half of the sales price. The formula to calculate this percentage will be total cost divide total sales times 100. In the average data shared earlier, 28 to 32 percent of food cost means 28 to 32 percent out of the total sales is consisted of food cost you spend to buy the ingredient. Sales is all and only the money you receive from your customers, and you use the money to pay for your employees, to repair the broken refrigerator, to pay the rent, and to purchase further ingredients to create the new menu lineups. The leftover amount after all these expenses are taken out is the profit, which is finally you can invest for your future business growth. This is why every restaurant owner tries to cut the cost to maximize the profit. Keeping this in mind, you can't even think about selling the $50 salmon for $50, which is 100% of food costs and there is no profit. Now, let's break it down into more specific situation. I don't think there are any sushi restaurants put a $50 whole salmon as it is on a plate and serve it in front of the customers for $100. Usually, slice it into pieces and nicely garnish them. So you can calculate how much food cost percentage each servings will be. Here I use the example of bluefin tuna loin. The tuna loin is not in the consistent condition all the way through. There are akami part, fatty toro part, bloody chiai part, chewing grains, and hard skin. Not all of them are edible, and you need to trim and break it down. After doing so, now you count how many servings you can prepare from each of the parts. Simulate, for example, you serve 52 dishes of akami nigiri, and 21 servings of toro sashimi. The chiai can also be served as a deep-fried small dish, and excess meat along the skin and bones can be scraped and chopped, so you can use for gunkan sushi. 
Then you multiply them with each serving prices and sum them up. In this way, you will find the total sales you can make from the whole block of tuna. Almost there. Now look at the purchase invoice to find the food cost. This 1392 pound of bluefin tuna from Mediterranean costs $21 per pound, which is $292.32 as total. Put these numbers into the formula, and food cost percentage will be 43.1%. It looks little higher than the ideal percentage, but I would say this is normal since tuna particularly is a relatively expensive ingredient. It will be more important to create an idea how to use the hard-to-eat part effectively. Make a strategy how you sell them all, and make it profitable as a whole. Needless to say, you want to try to minimize the inedible part and unsold portions. Here, please note that you do not have to set all the ingredient cost percentage into the range of, say like, between 28 through 32%. You can also prepare and serve items which have over 40% cost ratio, while you also want to promote the one with 25%, so the average drops down to around 30. The important thing is to keep those balances. Luxury ingredients such as bluefin tuna and sea urchin cost a lot. And if you want to make those profitable by themselves, you have to set the selling price as much higher than customers expect, ending up not selling well and keeping in the storage until the quality goes bad. Instead, you can use them as the star attractions to draw customer attention and promote what you really want to sell on the other hand. That's the comprehensive strategy. By the way, if you want to calculate the percentage portion by portion, scale the individual part and multiply with the unit price. Using this bluefin tuna for example, you find the Akami part has 5.5 pound, unit price is $21 per pound. So the individual portion of only Akami costs $115.50. Divide this cost by the sales to calculate the percentage as 37%. Likewise, the 7 pound of Toro part will be 46%. But what you want to be aware of is that the smaller the portion size you are referring to will be, the more difference will be made from the actual percentage because summing up the individual doesn't match the total. There are more parts that you cannot use, such as skin and bones, which is you pay for it but doesn't make money from it. Therefore, the numbers by unit portion is just for your reference to know the rough idea, but not to calculate the actual cost percentage. The ultimate way to precisely calculate the total food cost percentage of the business is to use the monthly inventory. This counts everything including all the ingredients you purchased, all the portions you wasted, as well as the ingredients you prepared but haven't used yet. The calculation of the cost percentage of each servings and that of weekly or monthly basis are just a different scope, but the basic idea is the same which will be explained in another tutorial.